Good morning, everybody. Today we are going to be lifting this plane with the rotator. So let's get this thing started. I might be stealing your uh, power there. What? I said I might be stealing your hydraulic power. Okay, I'm all the way out over here. I'm gonna show you this while I uh, remember. Something I've noticed with these outriggers since they come out at an angle, you have to set them up. The slide. Yeah, you set them up on this side so when they come down, they go centered. Pinch your fingers. There, 
we'll put it right here. Spreader bar set up here. What are your thoughts on lengths? On what? On lengths. I'm thinking tw four 12s on the bottom, and then maybe we could do eights on the top. We're rated at... Yeah, you want, you want on the bottom, you want, you want some, we need some distance, we need some length. Right. Stay away from the piece of so. But not too much to where we run out of cable. Yeah. I mean, even if we have a 40 degree angle, we'll still be rated at 30,000 pounds. So I think eights on the top are gonna be the way to go. I think eights are in a bin over there. And then I have all those 12s in the other bin. All right, these are all 12s. So we're gonna have four 12s here. One, two, three, four. should be three spots if you can just pull it out. Doing that three spot? No, this one won't have an issue. They're coming down Monday to look at it. How far out do you want it? You're gonna need some cable, okay? Put it in high speed. Um, let's marry the lines together, snatch block, because we're gonna be exceeding 16,000. So my suggestion is to leave this one. I know, but I would leave this one on the top end and that one on the bottom end. Yeah, eventually. We don't have to do it right this second. Dad, you want to get everything rigged up here? That way you have some weight on the cables. Yeah. So go ahead and hook those into each other. Uh, how are we doing this? Hook that into that.
Oops, sorry. Um, Rigo, if you want to do that one on the bottom with two of those into there, that'll be perfect. I backed it off a little bit. Okay. Is that fine? Yeah, that's fine. need to track down Alex um, on the other side there's two 12-foot straps sitting on the ground we'll grab those and do the same thing that we're doing over here yeah uh, you're doing the uh, this is the threads you got to flip it flip it over you say uh, you got to fit through them yeah Why do you want to double clean them no so this is going to be one side of the spreader bar with two legs and this is going to be the other side of the bar with two legs. Okay. This is going to be the top end with two um, eight footers. And I'm going to go find those eight footers. footers are in one of these bins here. We still haven't really got our strap organization down just how we want them. So let's take a look in here. Let's see if we got what we need. All right, here. This is going to be the top end, two eight footers. Let's make sure. Eight foot. Eight foot, okay. Right. We'll just set this right here. You understand what we're doing here guys yeah we're gonna put those two into that these uh the... one on just one side, roberto right? just one just one yep I mean, one on each side huh? yeah so this is gonna be our top this end on one side on one so we'll do the same thing over here with that one Into that one, yes. One, one bottom is this top. That needs to go the other way. Shackle? Yep. Bolt. Bolt goes on that. The straps are down here. If it was a single strap, it'd be, it doesn't matter. But in this case right here, see these lines? You have a 45 and 45. You can have, this is rated for a side load, so you can have the straps down there. All right. Are you locked in dead or free? No, it's okay. Okay. Should have enough weight to cable out with all this. And then what we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna use these on the plane. So we'll, once it gets here, we'll strap the legs into that. Which one isn't free spool dead? Blue? I, think, I don't know how we're going to get it over here, but... We're back to the oh, they moved the white feet. Okay. Okay. And then pull the trailer out as it is. Okay, yeah. Hey, Roberto, you want to help Alex or you guys help each other get this plane into here? You have to do a little bit of maneuvering, but... All right, check everything straight. Looks good. Check these pins. Pin! Pin! Looks good. Wait, 
What's going on here? Oh no, that's good. Okay. Okay, I'll run out of cable. No, you're gonna be boomed up and all the way out. It'll be fine. Start booming out. Watch. Watch your blue. It's gonna be our friend in this case because we, we're gonna need to lift it. Why don't you get uh, 90 degrees off the side, Dad? And uh, swing toward the front a bit. That's pretty close there. You like how that looks? Not by much, because we're gonna have to come down quite a bit because the, the legs are so spread apart, it's not a straight up pick, so. This is gonna have to be. Be like that. We're just gonna have to swing that, swivel the hook to make sure it's like this. two legs that are gonna have to go like way out here so we're gonna have to come down to like here switch we'll have two guys two tag lines one on each side Let's go ahead and unchain it. I'm gonna use these back here. I'm gonna use a little bit bigger up here. No, I don't. I, I don't want it. <laughs> It'd be kind of a pain. Yeah. See if this will fit. No, nope, won't even fit. So.
this looks a little stupid. Yeah. No, leave those because those hold the stands on. Okay. Yeah, no, I that. yeah I'm gonna do it both on that side. I'm, I want to. I think it's down on the legs is gonna be a good spot. You think? Yeah. Not well, like here. No, because he's gonna lift it and it'll be up there. I think oh, you okay. have better control. Hey, whoever is running tagline, do not wrap this like this, all right? Oh, yeah, I know. I'm just saying. If it takes off on you, it's, it could, I mean. Just let it go. Yeah, it could take off your hand if it really pinched you. Can you boom down? Dad, can you boom down, please? Where are we hooking it up? Huh? Where are we hooking it up? We're gonna do outer uh, ring here on the big plate here. And then the other side or what? The other side is a dedicated mount over there. This one's kind of funky. I don't really like it, but we're gonna have to do it. Yeah, there's a D-ring mount over there. So those, yeah. No, that's not how we're doing it, guys. We ha we're gonna have to have both those legs over here. The spreader bar is gonna be like this. Both of those straps are gonna be here. Both of those straps are gonna be over there. Yeah, that's where we're going. Whoops. All right, so I want, switch me. There, throw this over your head. All right, give me. Make sure they're straight too, if you can.
Ja. Uh -huh. Why? Well, those are 12 ton shackles right there. If you have, if you're past those 45 degree marks, you're rated at uh, half of that. So six tons, you have 12 tons there. So you'd be good for 24,000 on those D rings. Our angle up there is all right. I believe. Yeah, in a vertical, we're 13.2. In a vertical, we're at 13.2 per red. 13.2 per strap. So we got. We well, got 26,400. So each, I mean, each side, you're more than. Correct. More than. Yeah. Spreader bar angle is good for 30,000. D ring up top is good for 17 tons. And our snatch block are good for 32 on the lines. Let's check our boom rating. Are we straight in there? Yeah. Only thing I'm not liking is the snatch block. It kind of needs to be pivoted. Well, uh, well, when I. You think when you tighten up, yeah, it'll, it'll straighten out? Okay. Okay. Right now we're good for 33,000 with two part. Two part. Three part, 39,000. We're at two part. I know, I was just seeing if it was boom rating or cable rating. So our, two our part, we're at what? 33,000, which is cable rating. Boom's rated for 34 at this point. I mean 39. So we're good in boom. Or I should say tip is what we're at right now. That's our tip chart. Six degree angle. 58, yeah, you can call it 60. I think it's gonna wanna swing on you a little bit. Well, I think that way. Yeah. Back, right. right. So you just gotta be conscious. Just have good tension on these lines. Alex, I think. What's that? I 
I think it's going to want to pull away from you as soon as it picks up, so just kind of be ready for it to control it, right? Yeah, 10-7, 11. Front side. fluctuating from 10, 11 to 9. Okay. Front side. 11, up, yeah. 6. Almost like 11, 8. 10, 11. I'm going to come here in a second. 12. Oh, it's getting light. Yeah. Control it, guys. Get, get, get ready. 12, 6 right now. All right. Just kind of let it do its thing. Find its happy place. I don't like you walking under the load like that. <laughs> we don't want a pancake. <laughs> be, a big, be a big yellow mess. Okay, coming down. Coming down. Be clear, Noah. You clear, Noah? Yeah, he's good. <laughs> Keep that nose straight. To, su to support are we going to get a we 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 uh, cable up there is going to get gonna a shift. Hit the wall, isn't it? What's that? Okay. Boss up top. Yeah, yeah. thank you for catching that. I think we're going to hit the wall, so we're going to... Yeah, you're going to have to swing it over a little bit. Yep. Unless you want to put lumber. Yeah, unless you put wood on anything. Yep. Put some wood, we'd be good. Let's get the picket. Uh, oh, hang on. Outrigger's close over here. No, you're, you'll clear it. Let me just get stand? this cone out of here. Come down a little bit, Dan. Let's see how close we can get. Come down, 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 down. You might I think you're just going to sit on the barbed wire. I think I'd say it. run with it. Come down. I'm oh, okay. This one's not sitting level. It's not. It's, um... It's not. Coming up. Okay. You got that side? Alright, bring it in. Perfect. Who? Nice and close. Are we down some more? No, I'm gonna get this drop off. 
Which? Yeah. <laughs> but, um, Climbing up. Why don't we just get a, uh, let's get a piece of lumber so we clear that so we don't break that when we come back and, you know, lift it. Yeah. I'm gonna lift it up a little bit. How about two rims? Yeah, you wanna just push it out the way? How about two rims? Push it back? Uh -huh. Yeah, that too. Right. You need a block? Like We're just gonna, uh, get, no, let's just push, let's just push that cable out of the way and get a piece of wood right there and just push the, break that off. Break it off there. There we go. Uh, a little bit of hours. Yeah. Come down. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Take it apart. Tear down. Nice. Nice job, everybody. Are you bringing all this down? Yes. We're going to need to offload those uh, domes, but we won't need most of this rigging. No, those are like 5,000 pounds, if that. Yeah, we just go on the other side over. There, do you want me to boom that down over there? That one over? Huh? Yeah, I can do that. Taglines get ro uh, rolled up right there on those two, or that one. Throw it over or not? I'm gonna go this way. We'll, we'll get the grate on here to move it out of the way. Yep. Yeah, I'm moving down right now. Straps. Those go in the bin on the ground. Okay, on the driver's side though, right? Yep, the one on the ground though. Twelve foot uh, boxes are already in the truck. Yeah, that goes up top. And what are these? These are 12 players? 
You should, you should have four 12 fighters. Let's go over here. In this box. Those are 12s, yeah? Uh, those eight are eights. Bucks. So the eights go in that box. In the box that went up top, right? Yeah. 12s. Just until it 
Thank you for watching this video. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you thought about the video. Be sure to stay tuned for the next video where we're going to be lifting uh, some domes off of that trailer there uh, with the rotator. So be sure to stay tuned for that. And we'll see you on that one. So thanks for watching, guys. See you tomorrow.